Fresno Transportation Department is short $85 million in annual funds to improve an 82% good roads rating. And that's part of the reason ITD uses chip seal coating to protect the longevity of the roads. But does this type of coat work? Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Pope continues his investigation. While many residents along I-15 claim there has been a large noise increase from the use of chip seals, the ITD contests that. I could not detect any kind of difference. The actual truth of the matter may soon be resolved. But I'd like to get a decibel reading out there a week before it's applied. ITD will be repaving I-15 with a Class B chip seal in July. Back in 2000, they used a Class II modified chip, and some neighbors believe the noise problem is caused by larger rocks used in those seals. Nobody's out there to hide anything. And gosh, this would be great research for ITD, and I think I'm going to encourage our engineer to, to uh, see if we can get decibel readings before and after. As for the chip seal failure on Highway 20 between Thornton and Rigby, a viewer asked me to find out why the contractor wasn't being held responsible. It wasn't a problem with the contractor. He didn't do it wrong. He did it completely to the specs that were given to him. Bruce King, the public information officer for ITD, told me that warranties are out of the question because projects would cost at least twice as much, and that's money ITD just doesn't have. Taking action for you, I'm Stephen Pope, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. A Washington report found that using chip seals would increase the noise levels by one and a half decibels. ITD would not be breaking any protocols if this ends up to be the case on the Project I-15.